there's our new pilot. I'm sure you're raring to take off. Before you go, do you want to hear about my time in space? What do you want to know about the Hourglass Twins? Good choice. The warp towers turned out to be one of the most important discoveries I made. So is this the origin of the ghost matter? Is this stuff? Wait, it looks like it already ruptured. Yeah, this is where the ghost matter came from. This is what this is saying. This looks like it already came apart and... And this is what spread around the universe was that this ruptured somehow. They had no idea it was happening. They never encountered it before. I was just working on the assumption they had. Huh, okay. Um, I think this is what we were supposed to discover here. So I'm just gonna die? And then if it's not, we'll check the ship logs and see if there's more to learn. Okay. That was not what I intended. So these know my, we still see their bodies, but they're in space. Jeez. Okay, so we know how the ghost matter originated. I mean, it came from this comet. I don't know why this comet appeared or what caused it to rupture. The core is keeping everything safe. Where did the comet come from? Because it definitely wasn't Brittle Hollow then, because Brittle Hollow didn't seem to have these giant pockets of ghost matter. Hmm. <sighs> Weird. Let's see, let's double check that I actually got everything from that. And then, and then I think we'll be back to trying to solve the Sunless City stuff. Yep. Well, let's see what it says. The der they determined that exotic matter is both lethal and under extreme pressure. If the stone were to rupture, yeah, one of the my state. Yep. Okay. So we're... Hmm. I'm gonna look at these first. Ash Twin Towers. Several know why the Whitehall Station was used as a model for these towers, which were built for the Ash Twin Project. There's more to explore here. Okay, we're gonna start with the Ash Twin Towers since that's a solid thing. I feel like I've wasted some time anyways looking in the Sunless City, or I'd like to explore the Sunless City. So we might as well go to the other planet. Um, if we can find it. That's always the key here. I don't know what we're looking for here. I know that we saw those tower things earlier. I don't know where they show up, so we're just gonna wander until we see it. Maybe it's at the South Pole? Oh god! No, 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 no. Okay, the South Pole just has another one of these things, which is not exactly what I'm looking for. Hey, you're the start of something. The start of something new. Maybe. Get a feeling. It's maybe a little premature. We're looking around here. Gotta keep an eye out for... The sand thing. Hmm. The North and South Pole have something. Oh? Oh? Okay, yeah, this is... This is it! And that's becoming unveiled, so we're gonna just quickly... We're gonna have to remember how to get there again, but I think I could do it. Back. Okay, we're running to go to the equator. Is this the thing? Yes, this is the thing. Still not sure if this is what we want, but this is where I'm going. 
Oh. Huh. Is this what we want? Is this what I found last time? I don't know. Is this taking us up? Ooh, one of these. Give me. I know how to use these now if I find a thing that I can use it on. You're not the thing I was at last time. But we do have this. We'll carry it to the ends of the earth. If I was an equator. Do do do. Do 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 do. Is this it? Yeah, it is. Oh, and this is the like other side of it, which is fine. And then this is where we gotta go. Perfect. Oh, yes! Sometimes fast since I checked in with you, Pi. How are you and Adea progressing with the sun station plans? Presently, my assessment is that our plan will either fail explosively or succeed explosively. Pi, you know I don't find that funny. Hypothesis. Time sent away from the station would be beneficial to you both. I am in immensely interested in testing your hypothesis, Yarrow. That, or that at least we can agree on. How curious. Remy thinks I'm a gas, and I don't recall requesting you monitor this conversation, Adea. I don't see what state of matter you are has to do with this. I don't recall supporting the sun station's construction, but here we are. Okay. Drop. Take. You are mine. Okay, we're safe here. And... I would like to put you down. And I'm going to put you in. Friends visiting the Hanging City, we are playing the Astrin Project at the High Energy Lab on Ember Twin's equator. I became lost on Ember Twin, my gratitude that Rami found me, but the High Energy Lab is the building with the large solar panels. I'm surprised I didn't see it. I imagine our otherwise immensely clever Conway would lose his head if it weren't anatom anatomically passable. What the... Okay. Okay, I have to get here faster. Okay. There we go. This is where we're going. We're going the second we can get in there. We're, we're gonna ignore the door that's clearly blocked by cactuses we can't get past. So that we can go right through here. Just wait a little bit wait 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 if only there was a way okay what is this okay is there anything in here oh okay that looks like a warp thing. But what's the warp to? Can we warp from here? Yeah, this is a warp pad, but are we where are we is it gonna be the giant steep? That has to be it. There's about to be a line there. What? Oh! Where are we? Where are we? Was that the Are we on the sun station? That was the last thing I saw. No way. Did we warp to the sun station? Opens emergency door. 280,042 years ago. No user commands received for 10 minutes. All its systems entering sleep. Six minutes and 40 seconds ago. Increased solar activity detected. Sun station hull integrity approaching critical levels. Closing emergency doors. <gasps> This is the sun station. Fuck. Oh, fuck. This is the sun station. And this is how we get here. But I feel... This is gonna go badly if I try to do this, but... I gotta do it. I gotta try. We made it only for me to die. Curiosity killed the Becca. Let me on here. It's playing such triumphant music as I once again send myself into the sun. How do we get up here? How do we make it across? How do I do this? 
How do I make my way? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so progress, but not much. Boom. Ah! I was doing so good until I wasn't! Oh my god. What the fuck? Oh, come on. Okay. Can we get to that thing? No, 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 no. Fine. Match velocity there. Not exactly where I want to go, but we're going anyways. Keep matching that velocity. Keep matching that velocity. Matching the velocity is the way for you and me. It's matching the velocity. Matching the velocity. Matching the velocity. Fuck this little piece of shit. What the fuck? Matching the velocity, matching the velocity, matching the velocity, matching the vel- Oh my god, thank you! Thank you! Oh my god! We did it! Mission, science compels us to explode the sun. Expl- no. Can we change this? I don't enjoy working in view of such a morbid mission statement. Here's a better one. Mission. Determine if it's possible to prompt the sun to explode. Why would they do this? You lack a sense of humor. At least I don't lack a sense of ethics. I agree with Adea. Kindly refrain from going supernova on me before the sun does, Adea. But it's accurate. We're going to create a supernova for the purpose of scientific progress. That's our mission. Our mission is to decide if such an irresponsible feat is even possible. Okay. Don't go down there. Jeez, can you imagine if I just walked down there? That would have been a rage quit for me. Oh, there's sun. Or, not sun. Jeez. Hmm. I wonder where we're supposed to go from here. <gasps> it's one of the things! Hello? Oh, so I bet... They were going to do a supernova intentionally, but then reverse time so that they would learn from it. I don't know what the ethics of that is. I don't want to be like a party pooper for them, but I don't know what the ethics of intentionally exploding the sun are. Okay, so we have to walk down there towards the sun. Approximate time until Sun Station is destroyed by expanding star. 2 minutes, 23 seconds. Approximate time until Sun's death. 13 minutes, 53 section seconds. Oh, shit! Evacuate Sun Station. Ah! Okay, 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 okay. Remove. I think I saw there was a scroll... No. What happened? Did the Sun Station not fire? It fired, Yara, but it failed. The sun barely responded. There was infinitesimally small surface level changes, but they were barely visible even to the third eye. The sun station is useless. It will never and could never cause the sun to explode. I don't know what comes next, my friends. I suppose we must start over, but I'm unsure how. Return to this astroin first, my friend. Perhaps a change of task could help. Spire noticed a comet approaching the star system that we'd like to investigate. Hi, I heard for you. My friends, we all know how hard you both work. I can only offer my compassion. How are you? How is Adea? We're well, Yaro, or as well as could be expected given the circumstances, though, at this point. I may have disregarded, disagreed with the exploding the sun, but I never wished for the device would fail. I'd hope our terrible work was finished. Can we undo this? Oh my god, I can't, I can't come back here. I can't come back here. 
this place again. Is that the one that I just grabbed? Yep. Is this it? Is this all? I mean, it's a lot. Don't get me wrong. I just thought we'd be able to stop it. Oh, shoot. Okay, don't jump. Don't jump. So they died here. Waiting. So why did these not work, though, to make them go back in time? How much time do we have till we die? Zero minutes and 26 seconds. Interesting. I'm very curious if we're going to get the there's more to explore here thing. I didn't even realize the sun station goes away that quickly. Yep, I think we're dying. I think we're getting consumed slowly. Are we? This is the longest 26 seconds of my life. There we go. I can't believe the sun station isn't the cause of the supernova. That's why it's a small, a small thing. It's not a big one. This feels obvious now. Okay, so what do we got on this ship's log? Yep, okay, we figured it all out on that one, except we need more on the Sunless City, Black Hole Forge, the Ash Twin Project, the High Energy Lab's related, so I think the next thing is to go to the High Energy Lab in the Canyon at Ember Twins Equator. I can't believe the Sun Station isn't the cause of the supernova! Just all of that. That was a lot of jumps for me. Okay, Ember Twin. We're finding that high energy lab. And apparently it's got the big solar things on it. But knowing this game, we're going to target it by that. And like, mm, you have to go under the surface. In fact, I remember... The high energy lab had a thing. I wonder if we need to turn it on under the surface. You know, like there was there was like the area with the balls and the sunless city. We're just gonna go there first. You know what? We're gonna go there first. We're gonna find it. No. No. Go towards it. Go towards it. Go towards it. They have to find this. That's what I want. And here we are again. Here we are again. Okay, I swear one of these. I shine. High energy lab trailhead. Grabbing this. Yeah, okay, so where are you? Is that it? The high energy lab. Did we waste too much time? We did! Fuck! We're still going for it. It's just gonna crunch us. And that's the life we lead. As people, as explorers. I'm just holding my breath because I'm like, what if we could actually- this isn't- this is a trick. This way. The cactuses were a trick. We can make it. This is not the way we were supposed to go, was it? <gasps> Did I do it? Did I wander my way through? I was like, no cactus, not today. <gasps> Did we make it to the high energy lab? Um, just, just quickly. Hmm, yeah.
Okay. So, I guess if you try going down at that place, I thankfully never tried to do that at, you just die. But, where is this supposed to be? Look at me finding this place and having no idea what to do here. That stops there, so this has to be. Like this, this is weird. It feels important. Is there a secret little tunnel guy that I missed? No, we're going back up this thing. Pretending this is where we're supposed to go. Oh, 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 I see it, I see it, I see. Boom, let me in. We made it, we made it, we made it, we made it to the high energy lab. Oh. Okay, that was fun. It's a fun thing. Dead body. Oh, okay. So... Hi. Records show Nomaya arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow very slightly before de departing from the White Hole Station. Rami and I are devising an experiment to test if this is a real phenomenon or a simple machine error. Initial things first. Our experiment setup will first pair a small black hole core with a small white hole core to mimic the setup on White Hole Station. Hypothesis, it is possible for an object to exit a white hole before entering the corresponding black hole. In theory, what we tr want to try to reproduce is a negative amount of time elapsing between something entering the black hole and exiting the white hole at its destination. Come out. Drop. Come here. An update. Our experiment has reproduced an anomaly in arrival and departure times, but Pi is unconvinced it's more than an equipment error. I hope to strengthen the effect to render it visible, it visible to the an unaided eye. To that end, we decided to try adding more energy. I imagine the Sunless City's energy supply should prove sufficient. All available energy has been routed from the city to our experiment. Rami and I are about to run a new test. Of note, Yara requests that we let him know before we reroute the energy to the experiment. Hypothesis confirmed. Hypothesis confirmed. I saw it. Pi saw it. Hypothesis confirmed. This is beyond extraordinary. This changes everything. What a beautiful day for the intersection of abstract theory and practical application. I hate to leave him in the dark. Haha. Haha. Ha. Oh. Did I turn off everything before coming here? I'm gonna just, uh, and then, and then, open! The Southern Observatory is asking if creating a 22 minute interval is possible! That is to have, a, actu to have something arrive 22 minutes before it is actually sent through the warp. <gasps> this is our interval. We've learned the negative interval of time between t departure and arrival can be increased by adding more energy to the warp core. Problematically, the energy required to extend the interval increases at an exponential rate. Hypothesis. Creating a 22 minute long interval is possible, but we are currently unable to generate the necessary energy. That's why they made the sun station. Ram and I believe it would be necessary to invent a new method of producing energy, a thrilling but enormous undertaking. We would also require advanced warp technology to be able to handle such energy. We would also like an enormous space to fit these pro pro proposed new energy and warp technologies together. The only location large enough would be Ash Twin, Ash Twin Project. The energy is currently unavailable, you say. You're a gas pie. My pun it was unintended, Rami. So I believe it's you who's an aeroform. So this is what the Ash Twin Project is. And this is why we could loop. It was a success, y'all, eventually. The Ash Twin Project will be one of our biggest undertakings, metaphorically and physically. To build it, we need a way to travel quickly between Ash Twin and each location that holds crucial project materials. 
What if we use warp towers like the one we have on Whitehall Station to connect Ash Twin directly to each critical location? Of note, each tower on Ash Twin will warp to a different planet. My gratitude to those who noted my impressive language. Yes, the sun is not a planet. I believe this has sufficiently been clarified. Kindly stop reminding me. <laughs> we can design each tower to visually reflect its warp destination. The giant steep tower, for instance, could rep could resemble a cyclone, and we could model the timber hearth tower after a geyser mountain. Pope, Root, and I could begin working on this immediately in the Black Hole Forge. This will keep us busy. Okay, and those are the warps. And I imagine we find the correct warp that takes us inside the vault they sealed. But why is the sun exploding? Is the sun just destined to go supernova? Are we just destined to die here? We're in a 22 minute loop? Just at a very specific random time? Oh, and this is the way out. So the game crashed on me right after I found the high energy lab and uh, that that put me off the game for the rest of the day, um, which you know happens. We're gonna have to go find again. I'll skip over that. But it led me to just thinking so much more about the actual game and the plot. And I don't know where it's going right now. Cause like, okay, so we've learned that the Nomai almost 100% for sure died to the ghost matter when it hit this, came in contact with the sun or too close to the sun, like the interloper comet. And so that's how they all died. And then we also learned that the sun station is not what's causing the supernova. So like the sun might just be going supernova, who knows? And I'm starting to become concerned that like the theme of the game is about how accepting and significant we are in this universe and how at the end of the day, despite our best intentions and everything, you know, we could just die at any time, all of us. Because how do you deal with a supernova? But I'm hoping today I can figure out more about that. I'm gonna go redo the high energy lab stuff and cut over that because y'all already saw me discover that stuff. And then I think from there, I wanna figure out Giant Seep and Ash Twin. Uh, even though I think Dark Bramble, I have more to go on in some ways. That one seems scary after the anglerfish stuff. So yeah. But we'll see. We'll see. We're starting to get to the point that I'm starting to have theories on how the game's actually going to end. I'm just gonna double check that I don't have the high energy lab by some miracle. I do? So it counted? So, hmm. So where is the entrance to the Ash Twin project? I guess it's literally on Ash Twin. I saw everything in the know my minds because they don't have anything else. Wow, I don't know how that happened. The game like hard crashed. I'm not gonna question this too deeply. Maybe I need to go look at the Black Hole Forge a little bit more in the Hanging City, which works out because I think there was something else I had to do over there. I wonder if I took too long just now doing all that, but. Riddle Hollow, I also have to go to the Southern Observatory, so. We're still gonna go explore the Black Pole Forge more. Here we go. We're slowly making it over. Okay, we also know how to read scrolls now, which is very important. Also, we know why there's all this ghost matter over here now, because thousands and thousands of years ago, this is what killed all of them. They had all their little civilizations going. And then ghost matter killed them, which is really sad. I guess over time, all of the ghost matter just like went away. Like it just, you know, passage of time. I wonder how recent of a race the Harthians are to like come up and exist in a world that has ghost matter, you know? Okay, so. We'll read this sign. 
because I think it does tell me something about that. School district, Meltwater district, I Shine district, Black Forge district. What does that mean? I looked at this and was like, actually... Okay. Oh, is it levels? Do I have to go up? How do I go up? Oh, oh! Oh my god! I didn't even realize this was that kind of thing. So we gotta go up to the Black Forge District, which I think is at the highest level. Is it blocked off? Is it, it is, isn't it? It's totally blocked off. But whatever, we'll go to this level. This is gonna take a few things. I did not realize this. This is such a bigger city than I thought it was. Whoa. Wow. Excuse us. We have things to do. Come right up. Let me up. Three minutes of oxygen remaining. Shit. Okay. There has to be oxygen somewhere nearby. Like, that just has to be a thing. How do we go up there? Hmm. Like, okay, clearly this district, not a nothing burger. Okay, we gotta go to the district right below this. There also might be just some clever way to get over there, but... That's not where we are as people. Okay, yeah, that's that's that symbol. What are you? Black hole forge controls. Oh, I've I've seen this before. Yeah. If anybody could have a tree in here that was alive. That'd be extremely appreciated. Trees! Wow! Oh, I did this last time. I keep forgetting there's trees right here. Okay, so that's right there. Oh, can we, like, just go up it? No, wait. That, I'm stupid. That's not what I'm looking at. That's the forge. How do we get up to that? That's a warp pad. Hmm. Hmm. Like there's got to be a way. Maybe we wait for it to fall? That's kind of been the theme of this place. But we'll continue on forward. To see what else there is to explore in here. You? Where's a thing I can shove you into? Here. Right here. Go in there. Solution two, we could craft a new advanced warp core inspired by the vessel's warp core. The greatest challenge here, I think, is we don't have design for a powerful core or any of the original crafters of the vessel's core. No, but Poke was apprenticed to Anona, who created the original design, and our black hole forge is adept at crafting a similar core. Oh, this is about creating power. I believe I can be of use here. The vessel's warp core was created before my time, but Anona explained many of his designs to me. Abandoning the vessel's warp core and its casing means losing valuable knowledge. This is true. However, it's knowledge we have little hope of recovering. It'd be best to relearn, I think. Oh. Very much like to learn how to create, craft such a powerful core. More relevantly, I believe the Black Hole Forge crew and I could recreate the basic design. This is the safest path for our clan. Is the safest path the best one? Our goal is worth the risk. Is it though? We've tried for so long to find something that I and others now believe might be impossible to find. If the search for the eye is a futile one, we should choose the option with the least potential for harm. Hmm. Okay, so they're working on recreating the warp core of the vessel here. It 
it's so exciting coming back here and being able to shove these into now that I know where they're supposed to go. Solution one, we could retrieve the warp core from the vessel. Okay, there's solution one. The vessel's warp core is broken at best. Recall those present when the vessel crashed said it would sustain lethal injuries. There's no guaranteed reward for this risk. Perhaps we should still repair it. My grandmother told me there was little time to assess the nature or extent of the damage. This would require a return to Dark Bramble. Plume, my father said, many good know my perish there. My mentor, Kaleas, and his mentor, old mentor once discovered and studied an anglerfish fossil on Ember Twin. Using that knowledge, we could avoid the anglerfish entirely. What Malore and I learned from that fossil would theoretically help us evade the anglerfish, but our hypothesis was never tested on a live specimen. I remember that anglerfish fossil. We used to play in the fossil fish cave when we were children. That was important. <laughs> Even if it no longer functions, the old core could be a valuable blueprint, provided we're able to transport it back here. I read this one earlier, like on a previous time, I think. But, uh... Okay, so I'm gonna need to read the ship's logs on the anglerfish that I discovered so much earlier in this playthrough that... I, I was like, this seemed pointless, but it wasn't! I bet... That really scary room that I went into when I was following the red light because it's just different. When I was crash landed into a dark bramble. Am I going to have to go back there? That room's probably important. Everything's in the game for a reason. And I was just hoping that was like the punishment for if you screw up the pathing in dark bramble. But I'm going to hope that's not the case. I feel strange, trying to recreate Nona's warp core without him. At times it still feels strange to no longer be his very young apprentice and for the Black Hole Forge to be in my care and not his. To have the chance to try is thrilling, but I don't want to disappoint everyone. I think I can do this, probably, but what if excitement has clouded my assessment of my own abilities? Was I wrong in volunteering to build it? I was born in this star system and never saw Nona's warp core with my own three eyes. I only know what he taught me. What if I've bitten off a larger portion than I can consume? Hypothesis. This will always feel strange, even though my time with him was short. I miss my old mentor and deeply. Still, all I can give is my best, and as Anona would say, should my best prove insufficient, then we will find another way to achieve what's needed. I have Clary and Root in the forge, and I have my clan. I am not alone. Man, that's a real feeling about getting older and growing up. You know, becoming an adult and you're now the person in charge of things. It's lonely. <gasps> Does this take us up to the Black Hole Forge? Is this what I've been looking for? Did I dilly-dally for too long? That takes us back down. Oh. Do we have to go up through that? Hmm. And this has to be something. Right? Oh. <gasps> oh, this is a faster path into into oh my gosh right at the north pole we can get here so much faster in the future like this isn't exactly what i was looking for i realize i'm about to die but i would like to die seeing the stars but we're dying either way. So either oxygen or the sun. We have 60 seconds. We'll see which one it is. Oh, there we go. It's going to be a close one. Is it my oxygen running out or is it the sun blowing up? Let's see. This is such a good soundtrack. I love the soundtrack for this game. It's like simple, but so effective. It's ingenious in its simplicity. Holy shit.
I think we die this way. We didn't even get to see the sun explode. That's kind of anticlimactic. But now we get to go look at the notes and see if that's everything we were supposed to learn from Black Hole Forge or if we need to go and actually investigate Black Hole Forge. Okay, yeah, this is like we have to get to the Black Hole Forge. Now we're here. You know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? Now that I'm here, I'm gonna turn on, go to the Black Hole Forge controls, bring it out, put a scout on it, and then put it back down and see where it ends up. Are we supposed to actually just get on it while it's like flying up? The gravity here makes me think. No, wait. Also, other thing to test out. No. Go there. Okay, this isn't a surface we can get on. Good to know. Maybe we jump onto it. Maybe that's it. Maybe I'm entirely overthinking this, or we're just supposed to ah jump onto it. But we're gonna see where it goes when we turn it off first. That's a long jump for me. I guess if we're falling, we have time to like try this out a few times just to explore everything. No, I don't think jumping on it's gonna be gonna be the thing here. Oh, it's it goes right there. Okay. Okay. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're we're adventurers, adventures out there. Just giving myself. The adventure's out there! Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Feels like I'm a little stuck right here. And then we land on. Okay, we have to land on that thing now. Okay. Can we make it to. Let me land. Yes! Oh my god! Did that work? That actually worked? Is that how you're supposed to do it? Be cautious near the boarding area while the black hole forge is in operation. Let me on. I made it to the black hole forge because I'm a genius. Regarding the warp towers on Ash Twin, does each tower have to be perfectly aligned with the center of the astral body to which it's tuned? I enjoy precision as much as the next Nomai, but if, for example, a tower space were to shift even slightly, that tower might no longer align with its astral body. More accurately, I enjoy precision as much as the next Nomai, provided the next Nomai is not poke! We don't need the alignment angle to be exact. It only needs to be within 5 degrees of the astral body center. Of note, this gives us a slightly longer warp window. I imagine this window will last lo roughly several seconds. As such, any Nomai stepping onto the warp platform during the active window will be immediately warped. We will need to be careful around the platform for the duration of the time it's active to avoid accidental transportation. Yeah, that's how I teleported the first time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's giving an example. Okay, there's a scroll here to read too. Where am I taking this first black hole core? And where am I taking the remaining cores once already? All of the warp towers are being constructed on Ash Twin, so the black hole cores will go, will go there. 
My gratitude. In that case, Poke, Clary, I'm leaving for delivery. I'll send Yarrow your regards. Poke, I'll return to the forge shortly. I'm going to catch up to the route and help him deliver the first core to Astra and just to make sure Yarrow receives it. Of course you are. The Whitehall cores are for the warp receivers. Each of the six receivers are being constructed at different locations, so those deliveries will be a greater pain to in your cervical spine. The tower designs in the high energy lab on Ember Twin reveal each receiver's location. Ask Yaro, he is familiar with them. Okay, yeah, okay. They did, it was like there's gonna be a tornado shaped one on the tornado planet. I, we should have all of that as notes, I imagine. <gasps> you. What do we do with you? Okay. We're gonna have to take you somewhere in a minute. Of note, Yarrow believes he spotted a flaw in the warp tower designs. Namely, that one of the warp towers on Astron will never activate because its warp receiver will never align overhead. Does your romantic interest think a warp tower's alignment point is its receiver? Does he not know that a warp tower always aligns with the center of its corresponding astral body? Focus indignant. That isn't an unreasonable belief given the receiver does have to be located or in close orbit around the relevant astral body. Now, Yarrow understands the distinction. He likely doesn't realize that our class twins are so close together they function as a single astral body with a shared alignment point in between them. Interesting. I seem to recall that was your understanding of warp technology at first. They're so sassy. I love them. Making sure there's nothing over here. Besides, I think there was a skeleton. Yep. I'm just carrying my little baby around. Show me. Okay, that's gonna be important too. I have good news, Yarrow. The advanced warp core is ready to be installed in the central chamber of Ash Twin. I'm intrigued, love. Everyone here working on the Ash Twin project is excited to see it. Pi is beside herself with joy. No, it isn't. Is everything well at the forge? The core's durability could still be improved. I need more time. Oh. Ignore her, Yarrow. The core is finished. And if my sister tells you otherwise, then she will be finished as well. Don't worry, love. Poke is only nervous. The core is extraordinary, and her, and her design is beautifully clever. Aww. This thing has been so repeated all the time. I don't think this warp is going to work. But I want to try it. I'm also carrying this because it comforts me to carry stuff. Black Hole Forge. Yep. Okay, making sure there's nothing in this room. Even though I think this is just how we get places. Where does that go? Exit to surface. Oh! Oh! This is the one that, like, yeah. And. Um, okay. That makes me nervous to do. Every time. Can we still. Okay, yeah. We just have to walk along this path. Come on, little rock. You're my, my comfort stone. So, this is a white hole receiver. Hmm. Does it not work because they're not aligned on Ashwin? Does Ashwin need to be more revealed? I'm gonna sit here and wait. Okay, I'm bored of waiting. I don't think that's it. I wonder, okay, so that's like, that looks like a white hole core. And there's white hole station, which takes us back to the outside of this planet. But then I wonder if Ash Twin, we should try to make our way to Ash Twin and see if we can figure out the towers. Boom, all right. Which one are you?
Okay. Oh, and then they designed each tower to look like a certain thing. So th this one. Okay, okay, we're going back to the ship to read the logs. I don't want to get on the warp until I know for sure. This is bad, 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 bad. I hope nothing happens here. I don't know if anything happens if I'm in my ship when this goes over. And gonna look at the logs. Yeah! Okay. So where is the high energy lab one? The Nomai is 22 minute. They didn't record Ash Twin Tower designs. That's each tower visually reflects its warp destination. This is going on for a while. I got I got a bad feeling. Mind space. Fucking A. Okay, so we're going to look at each tower's design as we circle it. Okay, that's the sun, right? Or is that one the sun? That's... Fuck. They're, like, so abstract. Okay, this one's the sun one, for sure. They're all the sun. Because that's the tallest one. Then what's this one? Okay, we're going to start going in them. We don't have that much time left. That sun looks uh, bad. Can you not? Thank you. Okay. Where is this going to take us? Any guesses? Y'all probably are watching this and you already know. One of these will take us somewhere we're not expecting, though. And we're back on our planet. This is Timber Hearth. So that one <gasps> still works back and forth. Okay. That's great. I can make it. 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 I'm a traveler. I'm exploring the stars. Okay. Timber Hearth. What are you? Get out. I'm just trying to quickly see what everything is that I can. Phew. We're about to lose our ship, though. That's definitely happening. I guess that time we didn't see Timber Hearth because it was the sun going, the sun blocked our view. Oh, was this how it's supposed <laughs> This is definitely how it's supposed to get here. Wow, that was not my fault. Is there anything under here that I should look at? Who are you? Oh, God. That was... Here's our first delivery, Yara. One warp core, fresh from the black hole forge. Root is installing the core sibling on Brittle Hollow as I write this. My gratitude, Clary. With this, the under Ashwin project is underway. I confess, I am deeply curious about what Poke found on the White Hole Station that started this project. Could I visit sometime to learn more? I recommend you do. The yeah. Okay, we've read this before. Is this all coming together? Yep, they're flirting. Is this all coming together? This is... And also, I still find it... Hilarious that I uh, 
went the way I did. Which one are you? I'm gonna wait so I don't just teleport to the top of something that I shouldn't. Oh, this is the top of the thing. Then... This might be the sun one. I don't think it is, actually. Oh, there's a dead... There's two dead Nomai here! I guess if you're in space, your body doesn't decay over time. It's still so trippy to me. Welcome to Giant Steep, friends. I'm excited for you to meet the statues. <gasps> and we're at the Workshop Island. Damn, I, hope, I was hoping that the warp stuff when I figured it out would be, uh... The thing that, um... Took me beneath the current, but I guess not. We still have to go to the Southern Observatory. Can we go back? Please? Boom. Okay. What the fuck? It's all fine. Is this the sun station? This is the sun station. We're about to lose our run. It's fine. Just like, what else was there to discover here that I missed? That's the at Okay, those are the planets. And did we look at all of them? That has to be Ash Twin, you know? Because it's like... Oh, this one's broken. Will it work? Probably not. And there's a scroll we can read. Insert. Shit, what is this going on in here? Can we teleport in time? I want to make it inside the vault. At least we know these towers exist. And it's on the equator somewhere. I think we've done a full loop. Not sure why we haven't teleported. Maybe it's too late. Now well, we're gonna die pretty fast this time. Oh, is that? Was that where we were gonna teleport to? Well, this is the one we'd explore next. <laughs> 